What up, ladies and gentlemen? Tyler here. That wall jumped at me. You can back wall. That's what I always say. I'm sorry, guys. That was stupid. Okay. My name's Tyler. I'm from TarverAcademy.com, and I am here on behalf of LearningBird.com, teaching you about reflections, transformation. Okay. It means that you're changing something, either changing the size of it, the rotation of it, the appearance of it, the place of it online. You're taking something and making it into something else. You're transforming it. It's like the movie Transformers, starring Shia LaBeouf or Mark Wahlberg, depending on which one you're watching. And, uh, it, you know, it's kind of like Shia LaBeouf changed into Mark Wahlberg. That's the transformation they're talking about. Transformers. That's not right. I'm so sorry. Okay, back to the lesson. So we're talking about a reflection. It's a transformation. Okay, we're changing something. All right, key things. A reflection. Um, in like uh, in a, if you're looking into like a lake, okay, and you're looking down in it, and you're Simba, okay, and you want to know what you should do with your life. Looking back at you is your reflection. Okay, it's a mirror of what is being projected onto that. If you're looking in the mirror, brushing teeth, and you're brushing teeth, you're seeing a reflection back of you okay next time you're in front of the mirror stand there and raise your right hand you're raising your right hand it looks like the person for me it's a dude looks like this is raising his left hand okay it's reflecting it okay it's not the exact same because that dude's holding up his left hand i'm holding up my right hand but in the reflection it's switching it okay so we're going to kind of see the same thing here when we look at reflections on a number line okay um, you also hear people refer to a reflection as a flip. You're flipping it over the x-axis, or you're flipping it over the y-axis. Um, it's what you also hear. Two key things. It's the same distance from the center, because that center is called your mirror line, and that's going to be the same distance for each of these points from that mirror line, okay? And then we're also looking at the same size, okay? We're not changing the size when we do a reflection. We're just changing where it's located, um, and it's going to be a flip on the other side, okay? You know it's a flip, it's a, you know it's a reflection, it's a flip, I need the room. Okay, so we're looking at um, if we wanna flip it over the x-axis or if we wanna flip it over the y-axis. So let's take this little fella right here. Let's say we've got, um, we say that we've got this triangle right here, okay? This is a pretty triangle, didn't mess up at all on it. Let's say this is um, one, one, we'll say we went over three up one, then went over three, up five. Okay, so this is our original. This is our original triangle right here. Uh, can you see that? Let me zoom in for you. There you go. Is that better? Is that better? Okay, so this is your original triangle. Now, I want to flip it across the x-axis. I want to flip it across my y-axis. If you're doing this in class and you're doing it on your own, this is what I recommend. Label, obviously label your x-axis. Label your y-axis. It's going to make it easier when you we look at this stuff, okay? So we've got our x-axis. I want to flip this across my x-axis. Right now we're in the first quadrant. What quadrant do you think it's going to end up if I flip it over that? If I flip it right here. It's like, pretend like you have a piece of paper and you're flipping it down across that axis. So therefore, this in the first quadrant is now going to be in the fourth quadrant, okay? Let me show you how to plot these points. Let's do it, like, obviously you could probably look at it and be like, oh, I see that's there, so it's probably there, there, and there. I'm gonna show you how to find it exact, okay? So these are our original points. We've got three, five, we've got three, one, we've got one, one, okay? Now, I want to do a reflection of those points, and I wanna make it to where it reflects across the x-axis, okay? What you do is, see how I put this? I put X, negative Y. Can you still see that in your frame? Yeah, kinda. Let's just move it out just a little bit. There you go. Okay, so we've got our X and our negative Y, okay? Now that does not mean this backside has to all be negatives. It just means it's gonna be the opposite of whatever sign it is right now. Right now they're all positive, so yes, they're all gonna be negatives, but don't think that every time it's gonna be like that, okay? So we keep our X's the same, all right? So let's do all these points. X is all stay the same. Three, three, one. Now our, all of our Y's are going to be the opposite of whatever sign. So that's positive. So now it's going to be a negative. Positive. So that's going to be a negative. Positive. That's going to be a negative. Then I don't have to think, oh, I need to flip it. I can ignore my first triangle. Just look at my new points. We'll go three, negative five, three, negative one, one, negative one. And then I connect the dots. Boom. I've got my reflection across the x-axis, okay? Now, let's do the y-axis, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? 
I know you were thinking, oh, I hope you do the y-axis as well. Well, you're in luck because that's what I'm going to do. Okay? Y-axis is the same thing except for, well, I wrote that wrong, except for we are flipping the x and keeping the y the same. Think of it this way. If you're flipping across the x-axis, x is king. Okay? X doesn't have to change for nobody, but the y's got to change. All right? Think of it the same way for the y. If you're flipping across the y-axis, the y is king. X has got to change. Okay? So it's a good way to think of it. Okay? So we're keeping all of our y's the same, 5, 1, 1, and all of our x's change. So that's 3, now it's a negative 3, now it's a negative 3, and that's a negative 1. We plot our points, we go back 3, I'm sorry, we'll go back 3, um, back 3 up 5, I'm silly, sorry, and then we go back 3 up 1, and then back 1 up 1. And if this was actual number line, it looked better, but does that look like it was flipped across that axis? Like if we had a piece of paper, drew that, flipped it over here, I think it looks perfect, ladies and gentlemen. And you just learned about reflections. Be here all week. Subscribe to Tarver, Tarver, TarverAcademy.com and also check out LearningBird.com. Thank you guys for getting your learn on. Peace! That's all I got. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com.